Madam President Rajavi, distinguished guests, dear Iranian sisters, I am very glad that today I'm in the presence of the fighters of the liberation movement, particularly the fighters who have gone through hard and difficult times. Today, I am meeting you in the third Ashraf, and I hope that in the near future, I will meet you in the fourth Ashraf, which is going to be in the free Iran. We are standing in a critical and sensitive moment in Iran history today. Why do I say critical and sensitive? It is critical because the Mullah's regime ruling Iran is in a political, economic, and social dead end, and we, as supporters of this resistance, should be present to help the people and the resistance of Iran in order not to miss this exceptional opportunity. Moreover, it is sensitive because history has proved to us that now some things will definitely change and today it is the fascist regime ruling Iran that needs to be changed. The overthrow of this regime is an important achievement not only for the Iranian people, but also for the international community because an exporter of terrorism is, will be eliminated. Recently, with increasing sanctions on behalf of the US, uh, United States, the Iranian regime has started terrorist operation in the Persian Gulf and wants to revenge with nuclear threats. Fortunately, the decisive policies of the U.S. government do not give this regime the opportunity to play games and the United States continue along the path of maximum pressure. Your persistence as the PMOI has built the basis for changes in international politics and has been a great support for the Iranians, especially within Iran, leading to the uprising of the people in 2017. This policy of pressure from the international community and the spread of protests inside Iran has put the Mullah's regime in a difficult situation. Numerous reports from inside Iran indicate the inability of oppressive forces inside Iran to calm the pr protests. The future protest, uh, prospects is very promising. Mrs. Maryam Rajavi has the leadership of this resistance with a complete and modern 10 points, which makes the Iranian resistance and an alternative to the Mullah's regime for building democratic republic in Iran. I call upon all my friends from European Union to join forces with the United States in order to unilaterally continue sanctions this regime. United Europe, European Union must follow the same policy, policy with the United States and together to put an end to this criminal regime. Wishing you victory and hope to meet you in a free Iran. Ashraf 4.